Where does the story go? This is a question that one of my students asked me um, about their video script. Where does the story go in your video script? Where in the script should you be putting a story or an anecdote or an example, maybe something personal? Where does it fit in? It's such a great question, but before I answer it, I want to reiterate the importance of including stories in your videos. Stories are a really great way to help people understand a concept. They're a great way for you to share a little bit of personal information, especially if it's a, a personal story of yours. So it's a really great thing that you can do um, to make your videos that much more effective. And there's all kinds of amazing information about the power of stories in terms of what it does for people on a, a subconscious level, psychologically, at how it affects people and makes your videos more memorable. So stories can be a really power, powerful thing to include in your video scripts, but where do they belong? So there are a couple of places that you can inject a story to make your videos more effective. You can start with a story. The video appeal, the very first part of your story, that hook to get people interested can be a story, but here's the trick. It needs to be a short story if you're going to do it off the top because you need to make sure that you actually hook people right away. You need to make sure that you reassure them that there's payoff for them if they're gonna sit through the story. So you may want to if you're gonna use your story as the hook, as the appeal in your video script, then you may wanna interrupt that story with the promise. Following, start the story, promise to finish the story, and promise to tell them how the story is going to be relevant to them. Okay, that's the first place you can put your story, in the appeal. The second place that you can inject a story into your video script is in the body of your script or beef. If you've done any of my trainings, you know my ABCs and the beef is that middle part. So the story can come in in that middle part either as a way of exemplifying or, or showing as an example for uh, the problem. Right? You can use a story to show how the impact of the problem, how the problem may be affected you, how the problem may have affected other people. So in talking about the problem that you're solving in your video, you can use a story to illustrate it. The second place where a, a story can be super powerful is when you're talking about the solution. So in the section of your video script where you're talking about the solution, you can use a story to uh, illustrate it. You can use a story to help people better understand that. So there are three great places to put a story inside your video script. In the appeal, keep it short or add context as an illustration of the problem or to show how the solution works. Using a story can be really great there. So. There are three great places to put your story, but first you need to make sure that you are spending some time paying attention to exactly what is in your script. You need to be writing your script out and being intentional with every single element in your script. If you need help figuring out all of the pieces that belong in your script so that you can inject those great stories in, in just the right place, then check out Video Scripts Made Simple. It's a program that I created for female entrepreneurs to help them really dial in their video scripts and make sure that they're creating video scripts that are effective so that they can deliver them with confidence. I will put the link in the description, uh, but it's videoscriptsmadesimple.com. So you can go there and grab a copy uh, right now, and I'd be happy to support you further on developing amazing and effective video scripts. See you next time.